All right. Now we're doing free code camp, response web design, build a personal portfolio web page user stories, number nine. So our portfolio should have at least one media query. All right. So for this, we're going to have to, we're going to be doing the CSS. So let's first start by adding this uh, rel style sheet, href.css, excuse me, href equals styles dot CSS. Let's put this at the top of the page like this. All right. Now we can use CSS. Let's come over here and make a media query. Let's do at media, at media. We can put whatever we want on this one. I'll just say min width is 200. So when it's whenever it's under 200 pixels, what it's going to do is going to arbitrarily make the background hyphen color blue. All right. Uh, that's not a colon. Colon. What is the problem? Background color console. Run it. Background color blue. What's wrong with this? Nothing. Run the test. It's good. <laughs> and you know what? I'm doing this, a video series here. So if this thing stops, if this one sends us to the next level on nine, guess what? This is the last video of this section. Uh, and this section just happens to be the last of what is this? What is this thing called? Responsive web design, right? So that's the end of that. 10 months, 11 months later, and we can go to settings to claim our certification. All right, let's see. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. All of them. Solution, view code, terrible. <laughs> I don't care. Claim certificate. We need our name so we can add our name. Code man S is the name. Anyway, we'll do that later. I don't really care about that. Uh, oh, yeah, academic honesty. Anyway, so there's that. Dude, what am I showing you? Okay, cool. Awesome. There's that. And so that's the end of that. I uh, hope you had fun. We'll be going on to whatever we're going on to next, which is going to be good old-fashioned JavaScript. So we'll be smashing this on Sunday. <laughs> or we'll we'll be doing this next. All right, and we'll see you next time.